The world is green, wet, and ancient. This is North America, 66 million years ago. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and cycads, a world poised at the brink of oblivion, though its inhabitants do not know it. In these final dramatic moments of the Cretaceous period, life is at its most spectacular and its rulers are at their most formidable. Great herds of Edmontosaurus and armored legions of Triceratops browse through redwood forests, but a shadow falls over this land. It is a presence felt long before it is seen, a deep resonant footfall that travels through the soil, a sudden silencing of the forest's smaller inhabitants. Then it emerges. A titan of flesh and bone, the logical end point of 150 million years of theropod evolution. This is the animal that haunts our collective imagination. The undisputed monarch of the Mesozoic. We call it Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex the Tyrant Lizard King, and the name is well earned. But to call it a monster is to do it a disservice. This was no mindless brute. When we look past the legend and into the fossil evidence, we discover a creature far more complex and terrifying. This was a predator built with a hunter's precision possessing senses that rivaled the most formidable hunters alive today. It wielded vision as sharp as an eagle's and a bite force that surpassed a hydraulic press. This is the story of not just a giant, but a marvel of biological engineering. To stand in the shadow of a fully assembled Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton is to understand the true meaning of the word awe. This was an animal built on an industrial scale. At up to 40 feet long and weighing as much as nine tons, it was as long as a city bus and heavier than the largest African elephant. But its size, as immense as it was, is only the beginning of its story. The true genius of T-Rex lies in the intricate details of its design. Let's begin with the skull, a five-foot-long masterpiece of biological engineering. When we analyze its structure, we see a design that is both incredibly light for its size and paradoxically strong. Large openings called fenestrae acted like the arches of a cathedral, reducing weight while distributing the immense stress generated by its bite. The nasal bones were fused together, creating a solid, reinforced battering ram. This wasn't just a skull for biting, it was a weapon for shattering. And the bite itself was its signature weapon. The data from biomechanical models is staggering suggesting a bite force exceeding 8,000 pounds per square inch. This is the strongest bite force of any terrestrial animal we have ever measured, powerful enough to crush the bones of its prey into splinters. Its teeth were not the thin blade-like slicers of many other theropods. Instead, they were thick, conical, banana-sized spikes more like railroad spikes than knives, perfectly evolved for punching through hide and pulverizing bone, allowing it to access the nutrient-rich marrow within. This raw power was guided by a sensory system of astonishing sophistication. The skull reveals its secrets here too. Its eye sockets were not positioned on the sides of its head, but faced forward. This gave Tyrannosaurus exceptional binocular vision, granting it depth perception superior to most other dinosaurs and on par with modern birds of prey. 
This was a hunter that could judge distance with lethal accuracy. Furthermore, CT scans of its fossilized brain case show enormous olfactory bulbs. The portion of its brain dedicated to smell was immense, suggesting it could track its prey or detect carrion from miles away, navigating its world through a rich tapestry of scent. And what of its famously small arms? For decades, they were an evolutionary punchline. But a closer look reveals they were anything but useless. Fossil evidence shows massive attachment points for muscles, indicating that each two-clawed arm, while short, could likely curl press over 400 pounds. Theories abound for their use, perhaps to pin struggling prey close to its devastating jaws, or as levers to help this multi-ton animal push itself up from a resting position. Small they may have been, but they were powerfully built. Another specialized tool in the arsenal of a creature where every single feature was honed for one purpose total predatory dominance. To understand the hunter, we must first understand its hunting grounds. The world of Tyrannosaurus Rex was the final act of the Mesozoic era, a hothouse planet fundamentally different from our own. All known fossils of Tyrannosaurus Rex have been unearthed here in Western North America on a landmass known as Laramedia. This was not a landscape of arid plains, but a humid subtropical coastal plain, crisscrossed by rivers and swamps flowing eastward into a vast inland sea. The climate was warm and wet, with an atmosphere rich in oxygen and carbon dioxide. This was a world without ice caps, a super greenhouse that fueled incredible biodiversity. Imagine a forest of giants. Towering conifers, redwoods, and magnolias formed a dense canopy, filtering the sunlight that reached the forest floor. The undergrowth was a lush carpet of ferns, cycads, and newly evolved flowering plants. This vegetation was the engine of the entire ecosystem supporting colossal herds of herbivores, the prey that fueled the tyrant king. We see evidence of this world in the fossilized leaves and pollen preserved alongside dinosaur bones. This was a dynamic and often violent landscape. Slow meandering rivers would periodically swell their banks, flooding the plains and burying the remains of the dead in layers of mud and sand. The very process that so perfectly preserved their skeletons for us to find 66 million years later. For a creature like Tyrannosaurus rex, this was the perfect arena. The dense forest provided ample cover for an ambush predator, while the open floodplains offered space for a chase. The abundance of water and vegetation meant a constant, reliable supply of prey. This rich, wet, and vibrant world was the kingdom of the T-Rex, and it shaped every aspect of its existence, from the way it hunted to the way it lived. The skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus rex shows us the hardware of a super predator But how did this animal live its life? How did it move, hunt, and interact with its own kind? To answer these questions, we must move beyond the bones and look for the ghost-like traces of behavior etched into the fossil record. For years, a fierce debate raged. Was T-Rex a noble hunter or a giant scavenger? The evidence for scavenging is compelling. 
Its incredible sense of smell would have made it an expert at locating carcasses, and its bone-crushing bite was perfectly suited for processing any kill, no matter how picked over by smaller carnivores. In an ecosystem with high mortality, scavenging is a smart, energy-efficient strategy. However, the anatomical evidence overwhelmingly points to an active predator. Its forward-facing eyes, granting it superior depth perception, are the hallmark of an animal that needs to track and intercept moving targets. And in recent years, we have found the ultimate proof, the fossilized tail bones of a hadrosaur with a healed T-Rex tooth embedded within it. This is the smoking gun. An animal was bitten by a Tyrannosaurus, survived, and lived long enough for its bone to heal around the tooth. It is undeniable proof of an attempted failed hunt. The conclusion we must draw is that T-Rex, like most modern apex carnivores, was an opportunist. It was a formidable hunter that was also more than happy to steal a meal or clean up a carcass when the opportunity arose. It was a pragmatist, and in the brutal world of the Cretaceous, pragmatism meant survival. When it did hunt, it would have been a terrifying spectacle. While not a marathon runner, Biomechanical studies suggest an adult T-Rex could achieve impressive bursts of speed, likely outpacing a human. Its strategy was likely one of ambush. Using the cover of the dense forest, it would stalk its prey. An unwary Triceratops or a stray Admontosaurus before launching a devastating charge. The kill would be swift and catastrophic. A single bone-shattering bite would inflict such massive trauma that even if the prey escaped, it would likely die from shock and blood loss. Did it hunt alone? The image of the solitary T-Rex is iconic, but new evidence challenges this view. Fossil trackways have been discovered showing multiple tyrannosaurs moving in the same direction. This is an amazing In locations discovery. in Canada and the United States, bone beds containing the jumbled remains I've of never several seen tyrannosaur so many individuals in have been found, suggesting a group died together. This has led to the tantalizing hypothesis that these animals may have been social at least some of the time. Perhaps they formed family units, a mated pair and their offspring working in concert. A coordinated attack by a family of tyrants would be enough to overwhelm even the most well-defended prey. This social complexity may have extended to parenting. While no T-Rex nests have yet been found, we know from their relatives that they laid eggs. The young were far from many adults. They were slender, long-legged, and built for speed, likely hunting smaller prey while the adults tackled the giants. The immense gap between a vulnerable hatchling and a nine-ton adult strongly suggests a period of parental care. We can envision a parent T-Rex not only as a ferocious killer, but also as a dedicated guardian, protecting its young in a world fraught with danger, ensuring the survival of the tyrant dynasty. Tyrannosaurus rex was far more than just a giant carnivore. It was the culmination of millions of years of evolution, a perfect storm of size, power, and advanced sensory perception. As the apex predator of its time, it was a keystone species, the gravitational center around which its entire ecosystem revolved. It was one of the very last of the great dinosaurs, a final magnificent statement of their long reign before a catastrophe from the stars brought their era to a sudden and violent close. But its legacy was only just beginning.
Since the first fossils were unearthed over a century ago, Tyrannosaurus rex has held an iron grip on the human imagination. It is the creature that embodies the awe, the terror, and the majesty of the prehistoric world. It remains and will likely always remain the undisputed king.